That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Hello and welcome to your place in the cosmos. On August the 2nd, 2023, the Economic Times reported, NASA has lost contact with the Voyager 2 probe after a wrong command. The space agency hopes communication will resume during October reset. Currently, the probe is 12.3 billion miles away in interstellar space. End of report. It's not the first time Voyager 2 has gone AWOL, with there being a similar incident in 2020. Theconversation.com reported, In 1977, five years before E.T. asked to phone home, two robotic spacecraft began their own journey into space. Almost 46 years later, after exploring the solar system and beyond, one of those spacecraft, Voyager 2, has lost contact with Earth. All communication with Voyager 2 goes through NASA's Deep Space Station 43, a 70 metre radio dish at the Canberra Deep Space Communication Complex, operated by CSIRO. Contact was lost more than a week ago after intense efforts at NASA and here in Canberra. We have detected a faint heartbeat signal from the craft and we're confident of re establishing full contact. End of report. However, on the 4th of August, the BBC reported, NASA is back in full contact with its lost Voyager 2. NASA is back in full contact with its lost Voyager 2 probe months earlier than expected, the space agency said. In July, a wrong command was made to the spacecraft, sent to explore space in 1977, changing its position and severing contact. A signal was picked up on Tuesday, but thanks to an interstellar shout, a powerful instruction, its antenna is now back facing Earth. NASA had originally pinned hopes on the spacecraft resetting itself in October. It took 37 hours for mission controllers to figure out if the interstellar command had worked, as Voyager 2 is billions of miles away from Earth. Staff used the highest power transmitter to send a message to the spacecraft and timed it to be sent during the best conditions so the antenna lined up with the command, Voyager Project Manager Susan Dodd told AFP. After communications were lost, the probe had been unable to receive commands or send back data to NASA's Deep Space Network, an array of giant radio antennas across the world. But the space agency confirmed on August the 4th that data had been received from the spacecraft and it was operating normally. NASA expects the spacecraft, laden with science instruments, to remain on its planetary trajectory through the universe. On Monday, the space agency said its huge dish in Australia's capital, Canberra, was trying to detect any stray signals from Voyager 2. This was when the first heartbeat signal was heard. The antenna had been bombarding Voyager 2's area with the correct command in the hope of somehow making contact. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, which manages the Voyager missions, said The probe is programmed to reset its position multiple times each year to keep its antenna pointing at Earth. The next reset is due on October the 15th, which NASA had rested its hopes on if all other attempts had failed. Voyager 2 and its twin, Voyager 1, are the only spacecraft ever to operate outside the heliosphere. The protective bubble of particles and magnetic fields generated by the Sun. They reached interstellar space in 2018 and 2012 respectively. The probes were designed to take advantage of a rare alignment of outer planets which occurs about every 176 years to explore Jupiter and Saturn. Voyager 2 is the only spacecraft ever to fly by Neptune and Uranus, while Voyager 1 is now nearly 15 billion miles away from Earth, making it humanity's most distant spacecraft. Once both spacecraft run out of power, Expected sometime after 2025, they will continue roaming through space. End of report. Voyage 2's work continues. That's one small step for man, one 
Sky and Police for being 